Hello everyone, today we are going to be reading Batman, dun 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 dun, versus the Joker. Let's get reading. This is Batman. He lives in Gotham. He loves his city and does everything he can to protect it. He watches over the citizens of Gotham from his hideout, the Bat Bunker. There are plenty of bad guys all over town who want to cause trouble. The Joker is one of them. No one knows where he hides out, but when he makes an appearance, he is hard to miss. One day, the Joker and his team of lackeys decided to rob Gotham's first national bank. They took all the bags of money and loaded them into the Joker's getaway vehicle. A big yellow school bus. The clock had just struck three, and school was letting out. How could the police catch the Joker with so many school buses on the street confusing them? Gotham's police officers knew they needed more help. This was a job for Batman. When Batman and Police Lieutenant Gordon arrived, they watched the bank's security video. The Joker's ghostly white face and twisted red smile filled the screen. Him again, said Batman. Batman knew the Joker and his long list of crimes. He ran to his sleek and speedy Batmobile and zipped off to find the Joker. There was no time to lose. So when the Batmobile couldn't break through the horrible traffic jam, Batman rushed to his Batpod. It was small, fast, and perfect for winding through the clogged streets of Gotham. The engine roared as Batman stepped on the gas. As he weaved through the traffic, Batman caught a glimpse of a very familiar, wicked smile in a rearview mirror ahead of him. It had to be the Joker. The bat pod gained on the Joker's school bus. Oh no, cried the villain. He wouldn't be free for long. He needed a plan. The Joker veered sharply to the right into a dark alley. He leaped from his school bus and ran into a warehouse. But Batman was able to track the Joker's steps. Inside, Batman realized the warehouse was full of toys. He scanned it for signs of the Joker. Crash! Something moved inside the building. Thinking he had caught the Joker, Batman stealthily crept to the source of the sound. It was just a remote control car. Laughter echoed through the warehouse. It was as if all the talking dolls on the shelves were laughing at Batman. A loud cackling interrupted the dolls' giggles. It was the Joker. The villain thought he had distracted Batman enough to get away. The Joker ran towards the exit. But before he could make his escape, the bat pod pulled up and blocked his path. Batman jumped out from the aisle behind the Joker. He held the remote to the bat pod. Two can play at this game, he said. The Joker knew he was defeated. Game over, he sighed. I guess I'll just turn myself into the police now, he said, as he slyly pulled playing cards from his pocket. In a flash, he tossed the deck towards Batman. As the cards fluttered in the air, the Joker attempted to hurtle past the bat paw to the exit. Not so fast, Batman said, throwing a batarang at the the Joker. Bam! The Joker crashed to the floor. As the Joker fell, Batman pounced and tied the bank robber up. Batman delivered the prisoner to Police Lieutenant Gordon. The Joker wasn't laughing anymore. Gotham was safe again. Thanks for the